Today I wanted to talk about the payroll calculator app and making a quick refactoring and how safely I can actually do this having the test. So I checked out this repo, obviously I have it here, it's active development. So we have the payroll package with company employee payment, a couple of modules and we have for each module, we have a bunch of tests. And what I spotted yesterday that in the payroll module, excuse me, in the timesheet module, you have two ways to indicate that a timesheet has been processed or paid. So the first iteration had a Boolean um, paid field. And then later on, I decided to write the payroll batch string on this upon processing. And you can see this in payroll, where as we do the payments with the pay method, every timesheet that gets paid gets the payroll attribute set to the period, which is a property that just strings together year and month, but also gets the paid Boolean set to true. And that's kind of duplicate and I want to get rid of it. So I got my payroll test here and specifically this assertion asserts that up on pay, all the timesheets have the paid attribute set to true, right? So we cannot remove paid per se because this test will fail unless we remove the test, of course. What we can do though is turn this into a property. So on timesheet, I can remove it here and make a property or calculated field basically. It's called paid. And it's going to return self payroll is not none. And that's a Boolean. And basically it checks if the payroll field is set. So by default, when you instantiate the timesheet class, it's none. Again, as we do the payroll processing, this field gets set, right? So this will fail because we cannot assign a property. So I can safely remove it here. And let's see if the tests still pass. And they do. And that's actually cool because if I put a breakpoint in the test, this logic gets executed. So I have done the payment on the payroll class and if I look at the timesheets, let's take one. The timesheet is paid. So yeah, again, thanks to having the test, I could safely and securely do this refactoring. So let's look at the diffs, these stacks are not related to this change. I removed the paid attribute and I could just replace it by property. So now we have derived logic and we don't have two switches to indicate payment. So it's a little improvement and yeah, it made the code base better. And actually what's what you see here is actually really cool is I have a pre-commit hook that's going to call make CI, which I have in my make file. It's going to flake eight the code, type check the code and run the pi test. So we manually only run the pi test, right? But my pi was not happy. And that's probably because I don't have my virtual environment enabled. So my pi was not found. Do this again, now it passes. I 
that's it for this training. See you in the next training.